Is this like, I think this is a sex shop? In today's travel episode, Gary and I have a Kaiser Don in the famous Tiki fish market before heading to Akihabara to visit a maid cafe, one of the most surreal experiences we had in Japan. That and so much more is coming up next. Good morning guys, today we are heading to Vespa to Tiki fish market uh, and then Akihabara and then Kanda to see some temples. So far we've been really lucky with the weather and it's been sunny although this is a rainy season but today it's raining cats and dogs who won't let us stop us, we have our raincoats uh, and right now we're heading to Tsutsuki Fish Market which you can visit far early in the morning and now it's 9 o'clock but you can go there at 3am to see the tuna auction we didn't want to get up that early uh, and we're just going to check out the new fish market and we have sushi for breakfast and then we'll head to Akihabara to the like, tuna biscuits Good morning guys, Skiji Market is Tokyo's main and largest wholesale market for fish fruits and vegetables. It is one of the world's largest fish markets, handling over 2,000 tonnes of marine products per day. I promise you, you will be amazed by the variety of fish and seafood on display and completely engrossed in the very busy atmosphere of the markets. A mayhem of scooters, trucks, sellers and buyers. The famous tuna auction is held in the inner market. The number of visitors to the tuna auction is limited to 120 per day. If you wish to see the auction, you will need to apply at the Oskana Fukia Center. You then need to turn up very early in the morning. Entry is on a first come, first served basis and entry through the Kashidoki gate starts at 5 a.m. In the outer market, retail shops and restaurants cater to the public. For any food lover, Skiji Market in Tokyo is an ultimate culinary paradise. A visit to Skiji Market should definitely be combined with a fresh sushi breakfast or kaizidon. Do you want to go back to the other place then? Yeah. I think we're going to head to the shop that has loads of these. Yeah. Yay, I have the donut one. These are gachapon, aptly named because of the noise that they make. Gacha, gacha, pong, when it falls down. Um, and they're a big thing here in Akihabara. They're actually big shops just filled with these machines. Remember these guys? Well, they weren't colourful when I was a kid, but yeah, Tamagotchis <laughs> takes me right back to my childhood. That's Kipper's daughter. I want to be that. Bowser's daughter, I mean. Bob. Akihabara is a district of Tokyo, 
Famous for its plethora of electronic shops, arcades, manga and maid cafes. Contrary to common belief, Akihabara was not named after anime or manga, but after a shrine, Akiba, the firefighting shrine which was built after a devastating fire in 1869. Day or night, the Akihabara Denki Gei, which translates to Akihabara Electronic Town, has a vibrant energy, though in fairness so does most of Tokyo. Hundreds of electronic shops, from tiny stalls to giant shopping malls, line the main street, Chudori. You can buy anything from the newest computers and cameras to second-hand PlayStations, hugely expensive retro memorabilia and electronic junk. For any gadget fan, the area is amazing. And it's been difficult to find, hasn't it? Yeah. It's in this big building. Look, there are maps here. English. Yeah, that's it. There's that other one that we're looking for. Yeah, is that what we need? Yeah. We've got Tokyo Leisure Land. Um, super Potato. There is Lao's Super Potato. I want to try a maid's cafe. You want to play on a Sega thing? Oh, look here. It says how much per meal and maid cafe. Akihabara isn't what it once was. It earned its legendary status as a home for electronics. But as those became commodities available anywhere, thanks to the web, the focus of Akihabara started to change. Soon, there were more and more stores selling DVDs and manga. As those grew in popularity, other stores shifted their focus to cater to these new types of customers. In recent times, Akihabara has gained the reputation as a center of Japan's otaku culture. Are you wanting like uh, the bells of, of temples and stuff? It's tiny. What? Ah uh, yeah, Spider-Man. Um, it's black. It's from another parallel universe. But they're doing this thing right now where all the universes have collapsed and now there's only one planet left. So there's two Spider-Man now. There's the one that we know and the black one. Otaku roughly translates to fanboy or fangirl. While it generally refers to those passionate about manga or anime, it's really anyone with an intense interest in a certain topic. Just a short walk from the subway station, the main street is lined with tall buildings covered in colourful ads depicting sales and anime characters. There are names you'll recognise, like Sega and many you definitely won't. Head to Akihabara if you seek stores that specialise in anime, manga, retro video games, figurines, card games, and other collectibles. This mandrake. Yeah, that's it. It's quite spooky. Is this like, I think this is a sex shop. Go to Akihabara in the evening and an even more obvious example of quirk the otaku culture will appear. Every few stores will have a young woman outside dressed as a maid or anime character, handing out flyers for drink specials. Maid cafes are a subcategory of cosplay restaurants found predominantly in Japan. In these cafes, waitresses dress in maid costumes, act as servants and treat customers as their masters or mistresses. Today, most customers of maid cafes are Japanese tourists from other parts of Japan. Hello, old friend. We're currently heading into our first maid cafe. Sorry? What is this? Look cute. Want to look at a menu? Well, it just stopped raining while we're heading next. Yeah, catch, catch. <laughs> Behind me is a cat cafe. There's actually a bigger one in Shibuya that has something like 39 cats. This one seems to be quite small and it's about a thousand yen in total, so that's entry plus a drink you would get here. Gotcha. 
home. watching. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new.